The things that make a narcissist and their flying monkeys run for cover. Everyone, welcome to another video. I appreciate you coming back to see me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see new videos as I upload them. Moreover, I hope everyone has a wonderful day like I do. You may be sure that narcissists and their flying monkeys have good reason to be afraid of you. As we will see in today's video, you will do various things they fear you would do. As a result, the narcissist and the flying monkeys are petrified of your actions and words, the truth is what they fear the most. Narcissists and their flying monkey minions are terrified that you will see through their schemes. You put them on edge because they are afraid you will catch on to their manipulation, abuse, and gaslighting. They may have a long list of things you do that annoy them, but here are a few examples. Knowing how to read their actions for clues to their abuse and psychological manipulation, initiating the healing process, and obtaining emotional support while navigating the challenging duties of trauma recovery, etc. The truth seekers and whistleblowers are other groups that the narcissists and flying monkeys are afraid of. Truth tellers and whistleblowers are dangerous to the narcissist and the monkey in the sky for similar reasons. If anything, they should be afraid of us because we intend to expose the truth. We're done keeping silent, being bullied, and playing along with the clan's games. They are absolutely petrified of this happening and will do anything to prevent it. Truth seekers, empaths, extremely compassionate people, whistleblowers, scapegoats, and the family's proverbial black sheep are all put in a precarious position as a result. They're putting in place and enforcing fair restrictions. One of the major irritants for the narcissistic flying monkey is that you don't give them their space. They have zero regards for your personal space. That's why they'll keep pushing you until you crack, and all I can say is, don't give in. Instead, maintain a firm stance within your constraints, comforted by the knowledge that you are doing the right thing. Like the flying monkeys, a narcissist is petrified of being ignored or left alone. They've had a recent reminder of how much attention they crave. These people put their own wants before anyone else's. They treat themselves with respect, but that doesn't extend to others. So naturally, they worry about getting gray rocked. They worry you will stop talking to them, and it is making them depressed. If you stop communicating with them consistently, such as once a week or every day, they may become resentful, lash out at you, or have an emotional breakdown. They will resort to the gray rock method or cease falling for their crazy making strategies if they feel they are no longer getting your attention. To hear something like, I no longer want to talk to you, it's likely that they'll cut off communication. When narcissist loses their temper, they freak out, so you can count on them to strike back at you hard. Since that's been established, I can move on to the next common concern of narcissists, aging, illness, and rejection. Narcissists are fragile people who fear that the smallest of setbacks, like getting older, losing a loved one to the disease, or being rejected, would destroy their self-esteem. The narcissist and the flying monkeys are afraid that you will stop providing them with narcissistic reinforcements, which I'm guessing most of you have already figured out. To sustain their sense of entitlement, narcissists require a narcissistic supply of constant attention, praise, and affirmation from others. Their self-importance and sense of entitlement are triumphant. Despite external uncertainty, the narcissist and their flying monkeys take comfort in their seemingly endless supply of narcissism. A depleted environment is not suitable for narcissists. They compare the effects to those of narcotics and say they are similar. You might fear the addict's reaction if you steal heroin from them. Similarly, this is also the case. This is the behavior of a narcissist who has not received sufficient attention and admiration. Both narcissists and flying monkeys suffer from an extreme aversion to solitude. They are capable of toxically horrible goals and various criminal acts. I'm starting to see how their condition is a bottomless pit of despair. The narcissist and the flying monkeys are both afraid of the possibility of being out in public by you. If you're lucky though, you'll find an exception. Perhaps you'll tell your relatives about when you met the narcissist and the flying monkey at the next family gathering. Because you have a blog, published an essay, or shared anything on social media like Facebook, Twitter, etc., the narcissist and flying monkeys are probably scared of the reactions of their friends, family, neighbors, 
coworkers, and community members to the news that they have been abusing you, that they no longer have authority over you, and that there may be legal ramifications for their acts. Both the narcissist and the flying monkey are terrified by the prospect of you going no contact or otherwise beginning to separate yourself from them. They are worried that you won't communicate with them again. When deprived of their narc supply or potential scapegoats, narcissists experience severe depression. The flying monkeys are concerned that you will be happier and more successful without them and that you will be able to move on with your life. Perhaps you had previous experience with the narcissist as a romantic partner, spouse, or close friend. Their deepest fear is that you will find they really are. In conclusion, narcissists and their flying monkeys fear a variety of things, including being exposed for their manipulation and abuse, being ignored or left alone, aging and illness, and losing their narcissistic supply. It's important to be aware of these fears in order to effectively navigate relationships with narcissists and protect yourself from their toxic behavior. By understanding their motivations and vulnerabilities, you can stand your ground and set boundaries to protect yourself from their manipulation and abuse. Remember, it's okay to put yourself first and prioritize your own well-being above placating the fears of a narcissist. There's so much more to learn about narcissists and flying monkeys. In the comments, share your thoughts and remember that there is a brighter future outside of narcissistic abuse. True, it may take a long time, but eliminating them would improve your life. Leave a comment if you'd like to discuss this further. Share your thoughts on the aspects of today's message that struck a chord with you. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this video. A huge thank you for your help.